today's student council is hosting our second um, Red Cross blood drive. So we started this last year. We took it over, I should say, post COVID. Um, our school nurses used to do it um, before and we decided that we would like our student body uh, to get involved to benefit both the school and greater community. We ask our whole student body and staff and really anyone in the district as far as employees go to volunteer to sign up to donate blood or if they're power red they can even donate plasma. Um, don't ask me the science behind that, I can't give it to you, but um, through doing this we are able to um, you know, rapidly resupply the depleted blood banks, which right now nationwide there's definitely a need for. Um, so it's just great that our Spring Forge students can be part of literally saving lives. Uh, so the students are um, asked to read through a lot of information even prior to the Red Cross um, blood drive when they sign up for it. Um, the website is tremendous. It gives them a lot of information how they can do things even beyond this blood drive. Um, you know, ways in which they can even volunteer in the community outside of Spring Forward as well. And when they're here, I think they just definitely kind of learn that it can be pretty easy to like kind of take advantage of a civic duty opportunity like this that has a lasting impact. Students sign up for a designated slot. We try to, you know, urge them to do it during study halls or, you know, classes where they have permission to come, you know, not missing big tests or anything like that. Don't worry about that. Um, and they're here for about an hour, start to finish, um, to get information, go through the registration process, give blood, and then also have time to make sure that they feel good, they get a snack, they get a drink before they go back to class.